Stephen Shields Radio Show. I don't know what's going on with Rumble lately. Like, whenever I try to, like, check the weather forecast, I don't know, the app just... It's like it just goes silent for some reason. And, you know, I don't know if it's because of the new iOS 18 coming out, and I could rant all night about technology and how I feel about software updating and all that garbage. It just gets annoying. Software updating all the time. Apple wants you to have the latest and greatest tech devices just to slow things down, and then app developers are constantly having to refine their code Ugh, just to get a decent update. Okay. It's a full moon tonight. And being a full moon, it's a full moon. So, uh, there's a lot to talk about on uh, tonight's show as well, guys. Um, <sighs> there's problems with Transport Sydney trains, apparently... Um, services are going to get disrupted for the footy finals. I don't know what's going on. Meaning that, you know, there's nothing frust- frustrating as a customer of Transport Sydney trains or the buses. Is services that just get, uh, you know, cancelled. I remember when I told you a few episodes ago about when I was coming back from Sexpo, Sydney, and uh, apparently there was a power out- outage on the Transport Sydney trains, and I uh, get get to Central Station, and and I asked one of I think he was a manager, uh, uh, what's happening with the trains? Oh, I don't know. Go away. I thought this guy was a rude prick, and there was another. Um, cranky bastard as well. Uh, I don't know why they were in a shitty mood, and I can remember it was about twelve o'clock at night at Central Station. Oh yeah, because the the train on uh, whatever platform it was, they needed to have. Uh, Crew release. Okay. And the problem with uh, crew relief was no one knew bloody hell what they were, what was going on, what they were doing. They were wasting people's time. And uh, basically, as I said, A taxi ride from Glenfield Station to Leppington Station cost me $60 in an off-peak time. That was a $60 fare. Um, And then at the time, Uber, I don't know why it just didn't work. Yeah, you could save a couple of bucks with Uber. but See, I'm I'm from that generation of taxis, and there's a problem going on with uh, Sydney International Airport where Ubers now want to start having their own space to push the taxi industry out. Now, obviously, the government did crack down and start regulating the ride-sharing industry. Now, I've never used an Uber. Some people prefer it. Some don't prefer Uber. I know that there's been a lot of uh, uh, very bad people as Uber drivers. Um, So, again, you don't know whose car you're getting in. 
I mean, at least with a taxi, look, they've all been background checked from the government, but there are cranky bastard taxi drivers um, out there as well. Um, yeah, no, so that was my experience. I'm not happy with Transport Sydney trains. Um... I don't know what's going on with all the unions and all that stuff and the men's government. I don't even understand why they don't have a... Uh, a service from Leppington Station via the airport instead of having it change at Glenfield Station, which is stupid. So a lot of these projects that have been built... They don't really think about them properly. Um, no, so that that's the the point I'm trying to make. Where we've just got to look at, well, is this pretty much worth it? Like. Is it worth having a shit fight all the time over politics and the right and the you know union and all that stuff? Yeah, I, I believe that a lot of people just get fed up with it. Actually, um, like technology, I'm pretty much just getting sick and tired of. basically being told that oh, I've got to I need to upgrade to the latest and greatest software all the time and for what reason that's that's what I don't understand um yeah, it's a full moon tonight. I think it was a full moon or whatever they call it, a super full moon. Uh, that's an interesting one. Yeah, the Josh Adokar cocaine issue is still going on with the club and I'm just getting fed up of NRL 360, Braith and Astor, Phil Rothfield, just... Well, I want to go on all week about this stuff. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not going to get into the whole discussion about the NRL Integrity Unit, unit the ARLP Commission that's supposed to be looking after player welfare and players' mental health. Um, now, I'm not the one to make the call on Josh Adokar's future for the club. Uh, I, I, as you know, I do support uh, Canterbury, Bankstown Bulldogs as well, which is good. Um, but uh, yeah, it's Media's just, I don't know why they want to get all over this thing and and try and make uh, Josh Adokar out to be a bad person when really a lot of players go through a lot of str struggles as well in this sport. So to start trying to damage a man's reputation, it's just not cool. It's just bad. Now, I'm sorry to say it. So I'm just fed up of the media stirring up the shit. Yeah, it's just not cool. Not cool at all. Hopefully the Bulldogs can, yeah, become a better club through this and this is not going to stop their success. 
in the future. Uh, but uh, yeah, what can I say? Cricket season will be starting again soon on my Sydney. I quite enjoy going to the Big Bash. Big Bash League, the BBL, KFC 2020 Big Bash League. The uh, weather right now is 14.1 degrees Celsius. It feels like 9.9 degrees Celsius. Uh, Tonight will be a low of 8 degrees, top of 26 tomorrow. No rain, it's all clear. Um, Northwesterly, 13 kilometres an hour wind, 15 kilometres an hour gust, 42% humidity, zero millimetres of rain since 9am. Yeah, it's been quite a dry uh, month so far this year. Um... Sunrise today was 5.53 a.m. Sunset, 5.51 p.m. Full moon. Last quarter, the 25th of September is the next moon phase. Tomorrow, sunny, low of 8, top of 26. Friday, sunny, low of 7 degrees, top of 25. Saturday, sunny, partly cloudy, low of 6, top of 23. Sunday, Sunny, partly cloudy, low of 6, top of 24. Monday, sunny, low of 6, top of 27. Tuesday, sunny, partly cloudy, low of 7, top of 29 degrees. Wednesday, sunny with showers forecasted, low of 11 degrees, top of 30 degrees. Uh, 0 to 2 millimetres of rain predicted. Yeah, but uh... my back. Yeah, hopefully I'm back. Um. Yeah. Should that should be better? Hopefully, um, yeah. I don't know. I can't really scroll too much here. On, you know, when you're trying to scroll through through your phone and you, and doing a live audio at the same time. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do right now. Yes, basically, yeah, it's been quite a, I think through the whole month of August was quite dry, same as September's been quite dry as well. Um, yeah, what else can I say? Yeah, it's just, uh, Instead of, you know, letting all this politics stuff get to you, I mean, politics in everything, sport, body, politics. Yeah, to me, uh, how can I say, I just get, uh, yeah, I just get fed up with it, actually. Um, yeah, I suppose that, uh, there's just a lot of, uh, a lot of so-called, uh, misinformation out there 
Apparently, the Australian government now is trying to uh, have a legal age for social media for teenagers, which I, in my belief, is quite good that uh, governments are cracking down on the tech companies, and, um, especially for teenagers, because getting addicted to the phone and notifications going off 24 7, seven days a week. And not only that, too, on social media, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, there's a lot of, uh, you know, evil, evil people on those platforms that prey on um, people, which is definitely very disgusting. Uh so I'm, I'm hoping that the government uh, could start regulating social media more because of the problems it's had on psychological. I know Facebook has affected my life as well and caused me to enter into uh i've had depression over it and anxiety because of facebook um yeah so i mean a psychologist could explain more about how that dopamine affects us as well but uh Yeah, no, that's, uh, I think it's a good move, the Australian government, and hopefully all governments can eventually ban TikTok and get rid of it. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, as a content creator, uh, I have to limit how much time I'm spending on these social media platforms because these algorithms are designed to get you hooked, addicted. It's that dopamine hit and yeah, you add up how much time you spend on Facebook, they, these tech corporations, Netflix, have ways to get you addicted. And, yeah, I believe that... Uh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot better things to do with our time. I've had my rant about Facebook and Microsoft in the past. How I'm not happy, but uh, yeah, so you know, I guess it's a good thing that. Uh, try and have that time away from our screens because for like two years of a pandemic sitting and well was a, a, a lockdown and basically you're on zoom all day Mo mostly zoom was the most popular um Yeah, Zoom was popular and uh, you had Skype. And th there was one, I think, Google Hangouts or whatever it was. But yeah, these all got popular and FaceTiming and Messenger and all this 
social audio, Spotify, Green Room, the Clubhouse, uh, then Wisdom came along, now called Noom Vibes. Um, yeah, I believe that, how can I say it? Um, it's good that these tech companies need to be regulated and stop selling people's personal information to third-party advertisers and monetizing people's data. That's plain evil. And they were doing it for years. Google, Facebook, Snapchat, oh, Instagram, they're all doing it. And good on Elon Musk for standing up for free speech and buying out Twitter, now called X, which is great. It's actually so much better than Twitter was. I mean, I, I remember Twitter. Yeah, I had it, but I just felt it was just boring. So each to their own. Um Uh, each to their own support whatever platform you want um, I clearly have moved to the right and there's people who support the left but, uh, each to their own I try not to let politics like dominate my life okay I've uh, said how uh, what I feel about councils underfunding certain projects that uh, need to be funded. Um, yes, that's the point I'm trying to make. Where it is a good idea to, yeah, pay attention to what is going on in the media, okay? Yeah, basically, uh, how to say? It? Obviously, the cost of living goes up every year. Um, I could rant about cigarettes if you're a smoker or whatever it is you find going up, which just gets plain annoying. Um, so that's why I keep telling people to. support small businesses because small businesses are the foundation of our economy. Because it's not fair how, say, these big corporations like Amazon, even them too using uh, algorithms to get you hooked. Obviously, the only... I've, I've criticised Amazon... Uh, I quite like Audible. At least that's for my education. Like, for instance, Amazon's in, like one of these corporations. You look at Amazon, Walmart, Bunnings, Big W, Kmart, Target. Okay. They all favor the big billionaires because. They, these corporations pay way less tax and a small business has to pay more tax than a corporation. That's not fair. And that's always going on. And these corporations favour these billionaires. Uh, at the top, 
of the food chain. So that's why I keep telling people to support your small businesses. Um, yeah, keep them going. Food, whatever it is you're buying, because Amazon knew this. They knew this was a game. The pandemic, they could take advantage of online shopping because people, you know, couldn't go out to their store. Um, yeah, basically, that was a way for them to make a huge amount of profit. But uh, who knows? I mean, like I said, just keep small businesses going uh, right now. Yes, 2024. God, are we like halfway through the year already I can't believe it halfway through the year shit yeah basically you've just got to Understand that small business is the foundation for the economy. But, uh, guys, I'm going to leave it there. All right. You guys take care. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.